तो दिस एस्टिक 2025 इज ए कलमिनेशन ऑफ ऑल अवर वी वॉन्ट टू सी हाउ साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इनोवेशन कैन रियली कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू विकसित भारत ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव आवर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज ऑलरेडी गिवन ए रोड मैप इन इज वेरी इंस्पायरिंग रिमार्क्स ही टोल्ड हाउ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी कैन रियली टेक दैट बेनिफिट्स टू द सोसाइटी एंड हाउ वी नीड टू रियली सी वॉट आर द चैलेंजेस वेयर टेक्नोलॉजी विल बी मोस्ट असेंशियल सो दिस एस्टिक इमर्जिंग साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी इनोवेशन कॉन्क्लेव इज ए कलमिनेशन इज ए ब्रिंगिंग टूगेदर ऑल द स्टेक होल्डर्स बी इट फ्रॉम अकेडमिया इंडस्ट्री यंग पीपल स्टार्ट अप्स टू सी what are the uh, current challenges and how are we ready for it so that's the theme sir what are the major suggestions given by the panelists so panelists have brought out many many important things for example we need to have technological sovereignty which is absolutely essential for strategic autonomy of a country we really need to see how the private sector r&d can join the government support through anrf and rdi fund which was released today to really synergize the entire r&d system so this can be a very big game changer as was pointed out what are the possible pathways how do we bring tier 2 and tier 3 institutions as much in the play as tier 1 and really seeing where are the policy uh, interventions are needed to address this so all these are really making the road map for really taking us forward so could you show like uh, what the government is doing in this sector a lot like this rdi fund which was released today exactly addresses uh, catalyzing r&d in private sector to really de-risk investment which they think it is uh, risky de-risk in research and development and that de-risking is being enabled now the private sector will come together to really look at the cutting edge technologies so r&d fund will really look at the cutting edge technologies which will be really the future and not a conventional r&d that's the goal